Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and today I am going to discuss the problem Platen nested list iterator index number is 341 and the problem is of medium type of lead code Okay, so let's uh, discuss the problem now we have been given a nested list of integers nested list as its name each element is either an integer or a list Okay, so it is like uh, we have a certain let's say an array of elements and for every index i we have either a integer or a, again an array okay it is like a nested list okay suppose we have a like nested for loop it is like of nested list like a, it would be like either any index of the array should be like a integer or it's like a uh, entire array also okay so each element is either an integer or a list whose elements may also be integers of other list integers or other list okay so implement an iterator to flatten it that is we have to just uh, remove those bounds of the array and we have to just flatten it like suppose we, in this example you can see the, here we have three elements of the array and for our my first element is again an array which is of two elements like one and one and my second element is an integer and my third element is an again an array consisting of two elements like one and one okay and we need to just flatten this nested list so after flattening it it should be like one one two one one okay so what is the basic meaning of flattening that is if you have an array inside an another array just remove the bounds of this on a inside array like one and one you can see over there and you have to remove this array bounds and just place the elements as it is it should be like one and one in here over okay so it is basically like uh, your L outer array that is your nested list array size will either remain constant or it is going to be increased okay so before going further into detail we need to understand what what is this nested iterator class and what are these three functions that we need to implement for this problem okay so a nested iterator is basically a constructor first and we need to initialize the iterator with the nested list okay and there will be next function also that is going to return the next integer in the nested list okay so it nested list is a, is our like is is the given array which may contain another array inside it and this next function is going to return the next integer in the nested list okay and there will be boolean ha has next function okay so this is which is basically going to check uh, and return true if there are still some integers in this nested list that is uh, it should be like uh, if uh, we are going to just uh, take the element from this nested list and uh, all the elements in this in that nested list is going to be like uh, the list again then we are going to return false and if there exists a single integer in that nested list we are going to return true okay if you are not going to understand this statement no need to worry about i am going to explain this in detail with the help of example okay so otherwise return false okay so let us understand this problem with the help of example so let me take a list over here like uh, one and one and there will be like two and again i am going to take uh, another list like one and one and uh, this will be closed like this okay when you okay so suppose uh, at a certain instant we have this uh, elements like one and one and only two only these two elements in this list and uh, if we call this next function it is going to just basically check if there is some more elements in this uh, like uh, okay so if you are not going to just get it out just check it out the meaning returns the next integer in this nested list like what is the next integer in this nested list it should be like in this one it is going to check yes if there exists a next integer in this now you can see this is a nested list this is actually basically wrong it is not going to check or give the next uh, next integer so if in you you are not going to be just confused about that because we have to return the next integer the question will be framed and will be asked the queries according to the given problem statement so if this next function is going to be called 
then my next int next will be like uh, will be obviously an integer okay so it will not give any runtime error okay now let us understand what is this has next function is going to do okay so if we have some has next function it is going to just check if uh, okay so let us read the statement also returns to if there are still some integers in this nested list okay so if there are still some integers in this nested list like check if this is the nested list and if we keep popping this uh, or you can say like uh, if we have this current nested list over here and check the integer over this one like integer over here is 2 and uh, it means that if we have this current nested list and if I am going to check if there exists an integer now present over there that is here it is 2 just return true and what about when our answer is coming out to be false suppose at a certain instant we have this nested list like 1 and 1 and let's say we have another like 1 and 2 and this is my current instant of this nested list okay now if I, if I am going to just call this has next function which is going to check if there exists any uh, integer over this nested list that is present over now you are going to check okay so you are going to just iterate or you can keep popping out the elements in my current nested list you can see this is again a list and this is again a list so there doesn't exist any integer so we are going to return false okay so if you are going to return false just it is completed also we need to be careful that we need to flatten this list okay so what about flattening this list means so if we have been encountered some elements like this one there's some list like this one we need to just remove this array bounds like we have to just keep it as one and two and just push again into my this current encountered nested list or you can see stack okay so now the comes the main role of stack or you can use the queue also it doesn't matter i think okay so here i here i am going to use the stack and basically i am going to just push all the elements from the like if you have this uh, okay so if you have this nested list i'm going to just pop the or you can say sorry i'm going to just push the elements from the back side of this list like first one one this one will be pushed then this one will be pushed and then this one will be pushed and you, you can see last element is going to be like this one it means that this will remain at the top of the stack and if this will remain at the top of the stack then it means the first element of this uh, stack will be this one and uh, if we keep popping out the elements then this one will be popped first then again this one it means that elements are going to be processed in order starting from this first one then the second one and this third one this is the main key idea that's why i'm going to push the elements from the back side okay so let's move further to understand the coding part okay so you can see here i have a stack of nested integer star and s okay so basically uh, uh, okay so the question uh, statement is uh, little bit confusing and uh, it takes us a, it takes me a lot of time to understand and interpret this and even after interpreting it is like uh, uh, it is like if you are going to implement this then in the coding section uh, it takes us a time and there will be like much more confusion over there okay so now it uh, i have taken some 15 or 20 minutes time to write down a best code of this problem okay so let us uh, understand this one okay so i am going to implement using a stack a stack of like uh, suppose you are in the real c++ scenario we have a stack like uh, sometimes you are going to use like stack of int stack of strings now here i have a stack of like in nested integers of pointers you can see i am going to store the pointers of nested integer type nested integer is basically a you can see uh, you can have a class over here of as nested integer and there will be functions like int is integer that we can use directly or we can use directly get integer function and so on or you can use the get list function also okay so this is basically a constant vector of nested integer okay it doesn't matter now you can see here i have a constructor and i need to implement this so i'm going to just push the elements from the back to the front so that elements are going to be processed in order starting from the beginning 
okay so you can see i have iterated from back side of the this nested list and up to greater than equal to zero and just push the address not that i'm going to push the address because my stack is of type nested integer star okay so i have the net in this next function that is going to check if it my next uh, would be like uh, uh, integer or not that check if it is integer no need to check because i need to return the next one so just return as it is okay it doesn't matter so i've just taken the value stack the top uh, top is uh, basically a pointer just to return the value of this pointer of get integer now you need to think what is this get integer uh, method is doing here and where it came from okay so no need to worry about you can see i have a get integer may implemented inside a nested integer that's what i have used over here also so just pop the elements from the stack and return the value now comes the main function or you can see the main role of the function like has next okay so let us understand this also uh, basically you can see if you read over the statements of the problem it should be like uh, has uh, has next it's going to return true if there are still some integers like still if it exists a single integer i need to return true okay so let's pop out the elements from the stack one by one and check if it is an integer just return true as it is like uh, at, at the same instant okay using each integer function of the nested integer class okay so i have just pop out the tops element like a star itr okay and uh, if it is integer return true as it is otherwise we can store my current list and we need to flatten this list like flattening this list is like again uh, pushing the element from the back side also so just have stored it in a nested integer vector and uh, okay so let's start flattening this by pushing the elements from the back side and uh, using the help of the address you can see okay and finally return false if there uh, is not a single integer like uh, all the my current uh, nested list is like composed of only the nested list and that doesn't exist in any single integer okay so in that case uh, i am going to return false okay so this is what i need to implement so let's submit this code and check it out if this is an working and efficient solution or what okay so have something like uh, okay uh, I, I think I missed something or what stack of nested integer there is a language problem or what yes it here it is of Java I think I should submit in C++ Yes, it is good. Okay, so I think I haven't changed the language also. I just written the code and waiting for my correct solution. Okay, so if you have any doubts, do mention in the comment section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.